Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about it's Analog Week at Upscale Audio, and we're going to do another video on a phono stage this time, and one of my favorite phono stages. I want to tell you something. This is the Sutherland 2020, and I love Sutherland for a simple reason. This guy is not Mr. Slickster, and I'm so sick of Slicksters in high-end audio. There's more people that are uh, former nuclear submarine engineers with top secret clearance. They all seem to be in high-end audio, and they make these little tchotchke things that'll make your system sound better for $10,000, but they won't tell you what's in the box because it's all classified. And I call bullshit on that. I want engineering and I want parts. Ron Sutherland is probably, and I hope he doesn't take offense to this, this guy is probably the biggest propeller head I've ever met. He is not... He is not one of these guys that, you know, wears a, a, a three-piece suit and you know what I'm saying? He's not like that. This is a guy that believes in parts and engineering. And man, every time I've looked inside one of his components, I have said, hallelujah, brother. And this one is no exception. And this one is completely unique in the industry. And I'm going to break it down for you. Look. Sutherland is known for adding batteries to their phono stages, and they did that for a simple reason, to drop noise floor. And they've done some really super cool stuff with that. But they decided to do something different here, and I love the way they did it. First of all, the 2020, first of all, it's 2200 bucks, right? Badass for the price. It is dual mono, and that's a cool thing, because that means you have better channel separation, you don't have shared parts, you don't have contamination of noise between the two channels, the downside to it, it costs a lot more to build. That's why manufacturers don't want to do it. They want to pocket that money and spend it on uh, gambling, prostitutes, and Ferraris in Las Vegas. I don't know what they want to do. Sutherland doesn't do that. He wants to put it into the parts. Now, what they did was this. They started with 48 volt power supplies. Now, the power supplies are external, and that's a good thing because it helps keep the noise away from the sensitive circuits inside. But there's still going to be noise from these things. There's no getting around that. Now, why do they use 48 volts when everybody else is using maybe 12 volts? I'm going to tell you why. You start at 48 volts. Then you run it through what's called RC filtering. Resistor capacitor filtering, 11 stages. 11 stages. So it goes through here, cascaded, boom. Goes through here, then goes through here. 11 stages of filtering. Every time you go through another stage, it is a low-pass filter, getting rid of that hash, giving you the cleanest power supply that you can, and that is what you need for a phono stage. After going through 11 stages of filtration, you go to the magic of this thing, and that is the amazing oh, OPA 627 op-amp. Now, who cares about an op-amp part? I do, because you wouldn't know whether or not this guy would have used a $2 part. I have seen $8,000 products that'll use a single op amp that costs $2 in it, and they can even cost less than that. And I'm gonna tell you something, if he would have used a $2 part, I think maybe it would have still sounded pretty damn good with all this filtering, but he didn't do that. He used the LPA627 because that's a $28 part. I don't know of anybody else that uses it. It costs too much money, and there's one in each channel, but the reason he did it is because it is so fast and it is so good. And when you start at 48 volts and you run it through all this filtration, you still have so much voltage with noise that's below a microvolt. By the time you get to the op amp, it is rocking. Now, you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five gain uh, settings on this thing, 40, 46, 52, 58, and 64 dB of gain. Now, what's cool about that? No matter where you go in the world of phono cartridges, you're gonna have the right setting because sometimes people are in that mid area. You know, you got a high output moving coil cartridge. You might have a moving iron. You might have one of these crazy low output moving coil cartridges like the Winfield Anna and, uh, you know, the Quintet and the Audio-Technica Art 1000, super, super low output cartridges, 64 dB is going to get you where you want to go. It also has a tremendous amount of flexibility for loading, including 470 ohms for those guys that love Soundsmith cartridges, which those moving iron cartridges seem to be super, super popular today. Not everybody has a setting for that. That is a super, super cool thing. So, 
It is really, really, really flexible. Now, to make those adjustments for gain and for loading, ta-ta, they don't use dip switches. It costs a lot of money, but I know why people use dip switches, and frankly, they work pretty good, but it isn't the best way. So they use the little standoffs and they use these little headers and all the parts are gold plated and it's very, very elegant and it's very, very well done, but it is built to last and drop the noise floor to the lowest it can be. $21.99, man, this thing is so quiet. It's really, really badass and it is built to last a lifetime. This is a guy that really, he doesn't, he, he thinks like an engineer and builds like an engineer. He doesn't come up with this bullshit story. And I dig that. And you guys know I dig that. You should get something for your money. That's what I believe. I want you to come to our beautiful 10,000 square foot store or call my analog experts because nobody here works on commission. They're not going to try to sell you a freaking thing. You know, we're the largest dealer for brands like VPI in the world. We just won an award. We won a clean sweep. We got Titan dealer, largest VPI dealer, largest reference dealer, but you know the award that meant the most to me? The technical service award, being the most technically adept dealer uh, in their roster. That means a lot, you know, that my people care and we wanna make sure that we get things right for you. Cause you can spend all the money in the world, but if it doesn't work well together, then you've just blown your money and we don't want that to happen. Come to our store, go to our website, give us a call, I promise. We'll treat your system, and by the way, we take trade-ins and we got 12 month no interest financing. Get rid of that old crap. Get something really cool. Sutherland 2020 at Upscale Audio. Thanks.